Light is what gives us life but also can be harmful in concentrated amounts. In live cell microscopy, scientists have struggled between needing to visualize their samples and keep them from irrevocable damage. Although simple to the naked eye, biological samples contain many individual layers that must be illuminated by penetrating light in order to be observed. Imagine looking for stars in a large city. The focus of your gaze is the star or planet, but the surrounding lights cause you to see only blackness. Such is the problem still battled in most fluorescence microscopes. So how do we see the stars in our sample? Scientists have been working with microscopes for centuries, yet recently laser-based fluorescence microscopes to provide solutions to these problems. For imaging deep inside the cell, two-photon microscopy may have found the answer. Based on the concept for two-photon absorption by Maria Gopert Mayer in 1931, two-photon excitation was developed into a microscopy tool in Watt Laboratory at Cornell University by Winfred Denk. In two-photon microscopy, two simultaneous photons of lower energy can have the additive effect equal to one higher energy photon. Inside the microscope, laser passes through a lens which then focuses the light onto the sample. If the location is targeting a fluorophore, it will emit light of a different wavelength that is detected by the photomultiplier tube. As the microscope scans by moving the sample tray, fluorescence emission will image the entire sample area. Importantly, since the emission of fluorescence only happens at the focus point, there is no extra photobleaching or out-of-focus fluorescence that must be blocked, for example by the pinhole plate that is used in confocal microscopes. Dr. Tibor Veres is the primary immunology researcher using two-photon microscopy at the Medicity Research Laboratory in Turku, Finland. I think with regard to uh, observing immune responses or cancer cell spread, this is the best technique that we have which provides us a single cell resolution and um, imaging of tissues, intact tissues or organs. At the end of each experiment, you end up with uh, video files. And then you analyze those videos, you see how different cell types um, communicate, how they um, act together to create the immune response. And suddenly you observe something that nobody has observed before. That is very rewarding. Used in many scientific fields, the high-speed imaging capabilities of two-photon microscopes help in many research areas. There will be uh, a development in the way that we are able to look deeper into the tissues. We will have more sensitivity, we can see more signals, and we will also be able to increase the number of parameters that we can observe simultaneously. There are many good answers for cellular imaging, but to clearly see images deep into a sample without excess light exposure, there is only one solution, two-photon microscopy. We are not limited to imaging cultured cells, but we can also look at cells embedded in their normal tissue context, thanks to this specific technique. And I'm very glad to have the opportunity here in Turku to, um, to utilize uh, this cutting-edge technology in imaging. <laughs>